What's up, guys? We're over here doing predictions for UFC 297 title fight. Sean Strickland versus Drickius Duplessis 2. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's funny watching that little scuffle they had, but... All right, who's going to win? Well, Sean, he's got, he's got a pretty decent defense. Um, I don't know how much longer he's going to be carrying on that Philly shell, but, you know, it, it worked out against Sean, not Sean, um, Izzy, but I'm pretty sure Drick used to be prepared to take on that kind of um, defense. And Drick is, he's, he's a pretty aggressive fighter, and Sean tends to struggle with those aggressive fighters, with guys who assert their dominance. Um, I'll be honest. I've never really been a fan of Sean Strickland. I know that sounds biased once I put that into the equation, but I've never really been a fan of his. And um, honestly, I'd, I'd like to see him get knocked out by Drickius Du Plus E. Um, but moving away from the bias of the situation, Drickius has amazing knockout power. Um, I mean, Sean's got some dynamite in those hands too. Don't get me wrong. He about knocked out Izzy. Um, but Drick is, he's a monster. He worked Robert Whittaker. And honestly, whenever Izzy, not Izzy, Sean Strickland jumped up on him um, that other day when they were watching that fight, I guess it was EOC 296, uh, Drick is took those hits pretty easily. I mean, I guess Sean didn't have enough space and time to create real power in his hits, but... I don't know, from what I've seen, Drickus is going to be a monster for Sean to handle. So, I predict a Drickus Duplessy knockout at the beginning of the third round. Late second round, beginning third round. If it goes any longer than that, honestly, I would not get surprised if Sean Strickland manages to turn it, turn it around and outpoint him. He's got enough cardio to outpoint him. Um... And who knows, if Drickus doesn't end it by the third round, Sean could get lucky enough to finish him by the fifth. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited the fight seems that it's actually going to happen. I heard that um, Drickus didn't even press charges against Izzy because Drickus didn't want to jeopardize the fact that this fight is going to happen. And that's respect. I know... Sean finds this fight a little personal due to some things Drickus has said before, but that's, that's a fight game. I mean, it's best if you don't go that personal, especially um, from what I understand, it's like child abuse type stuff, which that's the main reason why I don't like Sean. I know he says a lot of stuff as a joke, like, oh, you need a drunk father rage beating and stuff like that. But it's not like Drickus wasn't trying to attack him in a freaking publicity type of way, right? Like, Sean does a bunch of publicity, controversial joke stuff. And Drickus just hits him with it one time and Sean gets pissed about it. Um, it's best if you refrain from those types of jokes in general, I do agree. But it's a fight game. And I'm going to refrain from those jokes, but I'm not going to necessarily judge them too much about doing it. It just depends. It depends. Like when Colby Covington and Leon Edwards were going at it, Colby Covington did cross that line. He honestly did cross it. Because Leon, he's not that type of person. And Colby went where he shouldn't have. Whereas Drickus, Drickus probably thought, and this doesn't justify him saying it, but he probably thought that joke was fair game due to all the things freaking Sean says, like, oh, how do I get to the meat and potatoes of it? Work hot, harder, child. Like, that's, that's a little, I'm not gonna say it's too far. I personally don't like the joke, but, you know, I was at jokes all the time. So, yep, they just shut the light off on me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Can't even shoot a YouTube video in peace. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Ciao.